this was her as a baby. And here's her now. My baby girl. <laughs> she is 15 now. Um, as you guys know, her quinceañera is around the corner. Um, so in today's video, we are going to be embroidering on this uh, robe specifically for her. And we are going to be doing some embroidering. So these are from Amazon. I will leave a link in the description at the bottom. You can do these for quinceañera, sweet 16, bridal, bridesmaids. There's a bunch of occasions that you can make these. Um, mind you though, these are a more thin, cheaper material. I feel like the better material that you get, the outcome of the embroidery would be better. So just keep that in mind. Still, I mean, I feel like they it came out okay. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. She likes it. I did use metallic thread. I'll leave that in the description as well. The font that I use and the crown that I use over the top. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helps someone if they want to embroider on satin. This is 100% polyester and it goes down to your knees. So again, I'll leave it in the description if you guys have any questions or want to check it out. Okay, so here's my robe. I got this off of Amazon. It's just a cheap one. So we'll see how good it does with embroidery. But before I put this in the machine, I am gonna steam it so it can be already ironed and I don't have to do any type of ironing or anything um, after the embroidery. So here's my steamer. Um, so I'm gonna do that really quick. Okay, it did the job. So I like to print out my embroidery design. It just gives me a better visual of where it's going to go. So that is what I'm doing right now, kind of pinning where I would like it to go. Right here, I did use cutaway stabilizer and this is the eight by 12 hoop for the EM1010. I, again, I'll have links in the description. I used this quilting basting spray so that I could make my stabilizer sticky and I will be floating my robe. I do not like to hoop the robes just because they're so delicate. Um, I don't want no hoop burns or possibly ripping the robe. So um, yeah, floating is your best bet. I will be using metallic thread for the embroidery. And again, I'll leave the link in the description. And right here, I am just adjusting the arm of my embroidery machine so that it can fit the hoop. Okay, so I have my design in. Um, and for precaution, because satin tends to pucker a lot when you embroider, and especially where there is um, small spacing in between one point of the embroidery to the next, that's where it mostly tends to pucker. I've done robes in the past. And one trick that I have found that helps is adding another sheet of stabilizer at the bottom. So extra stabilizer. But because I don't want it to be all hard and too firm, this is tear away. I only had the little sheets, so I stitched two of them together. So I'm just going to float it underneath the hoop so it's not going to be hooped it's just gonna i'm just gonna float it underneath there and then it should help with the puckering so this is exactly where i want my design so all i do now with my needle is make sure this needle is right in that center right there so with my little arrows i'm gonna start moving my needle <laughs> And there we go. So I am using that metal metallic thread. It's the first time I use it. So yeah, 
yeah i'm nervous okay i can remove this since we have our design exactly where we want it and i always get a little bubble because of the little pin just flatten that out everything looks nice and smooth make sure your robe is not getting caught underneath the hoop otherwise you're gonna stitch it all together that's the worst <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and place this under there and I'll be back to show you because I don't have a tripod right now. Okay, stabilizer is under there. As always, I always get so nervous when I do something new. It's not new, but the uh, metallic thread is new. So let's see how, let's see how it goes. Okay, so it did the first letter. It looks beautiful and shiny. So now I'm gonna let this embroider out. I'm gonna step out for a little bit. I This M still needs the little thingy that goes at the top since it's the word in Spanish, but I don't know, I'll figure something out. I'll probably do it in HTV, like the little, you know. It looks so nice the metallic thread was on point it didn't break at no point the crown looks amazing um let me go ahead and take it off the hoop and i'll show you on the table okay here it is all shiny and beautiful and metallic -y. Um, so now the moment of truth, let's take this off of the stabilizer and let's see what, how good of a job we did. This is tear away, so I'm going to tear this away first, slowly. Okay, so that was a tear away, now the cutaway. I'm gonna remove the um, hoop. I did kind of screw this kind of tight so it wouldn't move, not one bit. So this is the 8x12 hoop for the Ricoma EM1010. And then I'm very shocked with this uh, spray. It did not leave it sticky or gum up the needle. Even though I used the metallic thread, I was nervous. I've never used this before. The one I used to use um, is also called basting spray, but it's from Heat and Bond, I think and but they were all out at walmart so i had to get this one and i'm glad i did it worked out perfect
Okay, so now I'm gonna start cut, to cut away. I usually tear away my cutaway, but because this fabric is way um, more delicate, I am gonna cut around it as best as I possibly can. Okay, so here's after I took off all the stabilizer, not all of it, there's still stabilizer in between here. And I don't want to remove this from here, otherwise it's going to look very ugly in between both um, designs. So you want to leave that right there, connecting both of them. I did remove the sides, the top. Um, there's a minimal, minimal, minimal puckering as you can tell down here is i want to say it puckering is just the way that the fabric wants to lay but because it has thread um you know what i mean <laughs> so i can't wait for her to come home so she could try it on So that's it for the video guys. I hope it helps someone in any way when it comes to embroidering on satin. I'm not a professional, but that's the way that I did it and I like how it came out. Um, I hope that I keep making these type of videos. I have two more videos in mind. I want to make her bear that they use for the quinceañeras. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of when the dad gives his daughter her last doll um, because she's not like a little girl anymore so she doesn't play with dolls anymore so there's a father-daughter dance that they do where he gives her her last doll and then they they dance together to to that there's a whole song and everything about it about how she's not a little girl anymore and she's grown to be this young lady and I want to cry <laughs> um, so I am going to be doing her video I mean her bear for her and um the bear is all blinged out with the its own little tiny quinceañera dress so um yeah i want to record that i can't believe i literally wanted to cry over that um so yeah this next few videos are going to be very special to me uh creating her her things for her quinceañera and and then the other video is, I'm not sure if I'm going to record that one, but I'm going to try. It's going to be probably all over the place. There's also a dance that she does by herself with her, um, what is it called? The Court of Honor or something like that, where it's her friends. It's a surprise dance that they do. So she's going to dance for everybody. Um, it's a whole choreography and all this stuff i don't know but they use these really cute outfits and they're they're basically um competitive dancing uh, outfits so i'm gonna try and make it for her i have the fabric already it's super sparkly and shiny and glittery so um i have an idea in mind so hopefully i record that so if you guys want to watch that don't forget to subscribe and like and i'll see you guys in the next video